person in your guard stands up. Remember, you have a long range guard, medium range, close range guard. Make them work at least to get past your long range guard okay, before you just let them into close range guard. Right, so that they're, you know, because if they pass your close range guard, as I'm telling you guys, then you're going to be in a cycle. You better already start praying and all that stuff. So, as we hear back, back up, one of the things that's a little bit problematic, okay, is that when you're here, your knees are more tucked to your chest. You're a lot more difficult to manipulate, even though you're kind of on your back, okay? Because if he comes up to me here, you keep one high, one low, okay? You trade one for the other. So if you notice, you kind of put your pants a little bit tight and it makes it a little bit hard for him to, to grip versus here, you can grip on the inside, okay? So back up, so get here and then kind of grip right here. And as you're moving around, because you can always move and stuff like that. As it comes here, you're here, here, and now you're here, right? So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna create possibilities for sweeps when he is, close to you and when he is more further away from you, right? So in this scenario, I keep breaking his posture, right? And if he starts backing up, I can always hook right here with my left foot, almost like a daily heba. If I let go here and I go here, I'm in essentially a daily heba with a spider, okay? So you can grip from here, so you can have spider, and pant grip right here. All right, so uh, we'll see this way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <coughs> okay, so, so we call this the Leandro Low grip right here. So my foot is still on his bicep. I have a very good control of him. I can push him, pull, I can lift, and I can just bounce him. See how his right leg is, is light? So from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot on his thigh, loop this here, okay? And as I sit up, I'm gonna reach from the pant to the collar. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna pull him in and push. I pulled him just so he wouldn't slam on the shoulder. And you come up with the knee facing to the head so that you can pass towards the back, okay? This is how to go from that branch of the guard to daily heba to peak daily heba. It's almost the same, it's essentially doing this right here. You're here. Make it step back. One, two, three. Except now I have the right hand on his cross collar grip, okay, versus this, which I had ever since, let's say, he was even with my closed guard, or I got a control here when I was had my hands on the on the pants. The key is to switch from here to here. Pull him in a bit, pull, push. I pulled him just so that he wouldn't begin slam. You can also go. This one here, and you can pass. Okay, it's incredibly effective once you guys understand what goes where. Alright? So as we're here, we're here, and watch this. Let's say his leg is here. And I kind of move him this way here. Look. Pull them in with everything, with the knees and legs. Just be careful with your partner's knee. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you kind of point your toes towards me. Yes, like that. So as I go here, I pull you in, and then a pull, push, and you can set them down gently, or you can set them down really, uh, really rough too. So here, I'm gonna pinch my knees and move my hip back so I can jam his hip here, and then you go hip to hip, and then you just float. Okay. Yes. Instead of grabbing the collar with the left hand, could you grab the belt instead? You could, but you're not going to have control of the posture. My goal is to keep his posture broken because if he postures up, I'm going to lose the foot on the bicep. It's a fundamental rule that whenever you're playing open guard, why does this work? It's because his posture is broken. If he breaks this grip, postures up, I lost connection. He could strip that, that, and then he's already in a passing situation. I gotta have four points of contact. So when we're here, here, and here, okay, it's very difficult for him to remove that uh, foot off his bicep right here, okay? He can start trying to go backwards. Yes, right here. Now look, one, see how I can rotate? 
And one. Yep. Two. Yep. Okay. You can do it gently. You can get it back here, and then you can give him one of these. All right. So, if you guys are in the more beginning stages, just so you know how to do this, let's say Professor Phillip goes down on his left knee. Okay. So I'm here. Look. I'm here. One. Two. Three, I pushed it over this arm. I need to pull and push. Now, to get up from here, I need to push my hips away. My left foot is at his left hip. So I scoot back and I point my foot in so I can jam this hip here. Yeah. So I don't know which way I'm gonna go. It all depends on which way is the top of his position, but I want to go to his back, all right? Ready, one, two, three. Right. This is Deep Della Hiva, Della X, Della X. Your hands should be on their left sleeve the whole time. For God's sake.